Hey guys, welcome back to Clean Home Calm Mind. If you're returning and if this is your first time to my channel, then I just want to welcome you especially. My name is Michelle and I am so glad that you're here today, whether you're a returning viewer or brand new to my channel. Um, in today's video, I'm getting all of the things checked off of my to-do list. I've been working on a project that will hopefully be next week's video, but sometimes working on these types of things means that other routine things around the house get a little neglected. So I'm just writing all the things down, the main things that I wanted to tackle today. Not an exhaustive list, as you saw by any means, and other tasks will definitely be added on as I'm doing them. But a few of these things are what I feel like I can no longer ignore. Always playing king and queen. I'm starting off in my daughter's room and I'm washing her sheets separately from everyone else's because hers are dark and the rest are light. Um, and clearly I already have a full basket of clothes waiting to be folded right there on my dryer. But if you've been around here a while, then you already know that laundry is my least favorite chore. or so when I close my eyes I see how we all were tripping with so I don't film in my kids rooms very much uh, mostly for two reasons the first being that they are responsible for cleaning their own rooms I don't want to be cleaning their rooms all the time just for the sake of having content to film now obviously I will go in and do more of the deep cleaning like wiping down surfaces vacuuming or cleaning the carpets like I'm planning to do today but they both need their own space that they are responsible for. Um, and secondly, for the same reason they don't appear much on my channel just in general, except for like the occasional photo bomb, um, is because they're kids. They don't need their lives exposed to the internet. So anytime I do film in their rooms, I always ask permission. That's their space, and if they ever said no, I would respect that 100%. My daughter is super creative and crafty, so you can see she's got a lot of art supplies. I don't do a lot of organizing when it comes to that kind of stuff because it's her stuff. She's the one who uses it, and she actually does a pretty good job of keeping it organized herself. So I'm not going to go in here and reorganize or move things around too much. I just want to make sure that everything is cleaned up and it's not dusty or super dirty. So I'm doing my best to keep it where it was without it looking crazy. So like I said, she does a really good job and I love seeing all of her art projects come to life. She's so creative. I was never that good at art <laughs> when I was her age. So she's pretty awesome. Why did you turn your back on me? Maybe there's something I don't see. Could you just shed a little light? Shed a little light? Shed a little light on me? Shed a little light? Shed a little light? Shed a little light on me? Why'd you go and leave me here all alone in the shadows? Could you just shed a little light? Shed a Just 
Apparently I forgot to press record on the camera after this area right here because the footage of cleaning the carpet of the rest of the room is mysteriously missing. But this carpet cleaner is one of my most favorite investments I've ever made on a cleaning gadget. As you just saw, it just sucks up the stains like they were never there. Now I do pre-treat any like really bad stains, usually with the Hoover Pet Pre-Treat or in today's case, um, some Folex since I was out of the Hoover brand, but it's seriously like magic. Still got your pearls hanging by my bedside Still got your lips on paper in a trash line. I never knew love could be so sweet I never knew it would stay I never knew love like this would leave So I'm on the hunt for some new bedding for my son. Um, I've been wanting to fix up his room for a while, but for some reason, boys' rooms have me just a little stumped when it comes to decorating. Because I want to keep it somewhat, I don't want to say neutral, but like not over the top crazy, but like still have it fit his personality. So I guess by neutral, I mean just like no bright orange walls or anything. He loves all the colors and just about all sports. Football's his favorite, but he just recently started playing soccer and he wants to try out basketball this winter. So I'm trying to find a way to incorporate all of that into his room. He's a good kid though, so I know he'll like whatever I do.
After I finished washing all of the sheets, we headed out for lunch and to do a little shopping. So this is actually a few hours later. By this time it was about 5 o'clock and I still had some other things I had to film for another video. So I was starting to feel a little rushed, which is not my favorite way to clean, but I was determined to get everything done. So cleaning the microwave today was pretty simple. There wasn't any like a real caked on gunk or anything. So it was just a simple wipe down to get all the crumbs out and then washing the tray and that was it. Some people ask me if I enjoy cleaning and honestly, even though my channel is mostly like cleaning motivation, I wouldn't say that I do. I love the results that it produces, but actual cleaning, I don't really love doing. There are some aspects that I do enjoy. Um, a lot of times when I'm cleaning and there's not a lot else going on, it gives me time to think and, you know, work through some things on my own. Um, but I take pride in having a clean home and that really got me thinking. So sometimes it's hard to have pride in your home and that goes for me as well. I have not always felt good about the houses that I've lived in. They've been small, they haven't always been the nicest um, you know but and, and maybe this house wouldn't be what I consider a forever home but what I can do is keep it clean so like what's a big fancy house if it's just a disaster all the time so I wish I would have had someone tell me that when I was a young married adult with two small kids and I just felt so unequal um, so I guess now I'm trying to be that person for someone else so if you're feeling insecure about anything you've got in your home remember that like, keeping it clean really says a lot. It doesn't cost a lot to have a clean house, just a little bit of your time. So I want to encourage you to just be content with what you are. What's that? Surfing on a wave of good feelings. Well, it's just another Friday in paradise. So bring your A game, cause you know this party won't stop. We could never run out of time. Sipping strawberry lime, you know I wanna share it with you. Bass is going boom boom. Baby, if you're looking for some classic, I'll tell you everybody's standing in a line for the one slide. So as you saw, one of the things that I had on my list was to clean the filter in our dishwasher. Um, but we've lived here for almost four years and I have never been able to find it. So are there filterless dishwashers? If so, I must have one because I, for the life of me, could not figure out where it was or 
if I was looking at it, I couldn't figure out how to get it out and clean it. I am just feeling absolutely clueless on this. So I just went ahead and put it back together and wiped the, down the bottom of the door because it was looking a little grimy, but the mysterious filter still has not been cleaned, but I did check it off my list anyway because I did make the attempt. Cleaning out the refrigerator was probably the most important task on my list of things to do today. Our fridge was chock full of leftover containers, like so full almost nothing else would fit in there. I didn't show myself tossing out the old food because that's kind of gross, but it felt like there was a ton. So after cleaning everything out that could be thrown away, I just sprayed each shelf with some Mrs. Myers and wiped them all down. And how the wind makes way across the Take a breath Let me be a part of something real mm -hmm. Someone said it's better when You hold on to a helping hand Sometimes we could all use a friend Take a step into the river Get down on your knees Come to the mountain Well, take it in the view You will find the life is
To wipe down my cabinets, I'm just filling the sink with a little bit of powdered Tide and some hot water. I used to just fill a bowl with the same thing, but I was having to constantly toss the water and then refill it with a hot water and powder tide and that was just getting on my nerves. So I found that I could just fill one side of my sink with the water I used for the cleaning and the powder tide and then rinse the rag with the water on the other side and then just dip the rag in the fresh water and it saved me a lot of time. So come to the water where you will find peace. Take a step into the river and get down on your knees. Someone did you wrong I can see it in your eyes It's like your fire is gone Across your face It is written across your face If you want to talk I'm right here Not gonna leave your side Just feel free to open up When the moment's right Across your face It is written across your face If you want to go out We can go out You can hide away Just for one night but if you want to cry, just let it out. I'm by your side now. Just hold on a bit more, cause I know you only see the rain, not the rainbow. Deep down, I know you're strong. Give them hell, be the proof of Be on the lookout for some future videos regarding our kitchen. I have a lot of plans. Coming up, we've already started on one project. Um, we have an Eden kitchen, so it's kind of a big space. Um, and I'm planning to repaint the walls. These walls are more blue than I ever really wanted them to be. When I painted them, I was going for like more of a gray, but they're more of a blue gray, um, which isn't my favorite, but it's worked for a long time. However, I do want to repaint them and I really want to paint the cabinets, but we have so many that it's gonna be a really big job. So I need to make sure that I'm mentally prepared before I start that. But like I said, we have already started on another project and so that should be a future video coming up, hopefully within the next few weeks. So stay tuned and be sure that you're keeping up with everything. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it.
So this is one of the tasks that I've been putting off for way too long. The glass on these doors was just gross. It's summertime so kids are in and out which means lots and lots of fingerprints and handprints. And we've also had a cardinal come visit us like almost every day and ram right into the window. He's been doing this for weeks and we have absolutely no idea why. We read that he thinks his reflection is another bird and so he tries to attack it. But like I said, it's been happening for weeks, it's like sometimes multiple times a day. Um, so I also read that sometimes they see plants like inside that they think is food and so they'll, you know, try to get to it and end up ramming into the window and they do. So I did have a plant on our table, but I moved it just to see if that would stop, but he keeps doing it. So who knows? It's kind of weird and it's been like leaving little beak marks on our door. So I'm finally getting that all cleaned up too. Now that all of our sheets are clean and dry, it's time to get all of our beds put back together. And there is nothing cozier to me than freshly washed bed sheets or comforters or whatever that you put on your bed, freshly made, crawling into bed at the end of the day. There is just nothing better in my opinion. So this is one of my favorite days of my cleaning cycle is when I get all of the linens clean.
to find you in another time. Up it curves and down it goes. Seeds will die before they grow. Oh, oh, oh. If nothing would So as I'm putting the sheets back on our bed and getting it all made, you can see the basket of laundry in the back of my bedroom. Um, I have to admit to you that I did not get to folding the laundry in this video. Like I mentioned earlier, I had something else that I needed to film, but I had to do it outside and I was worried about like running out of daylight. Plus I was getting like really tired, but I did end up folding it the next day, so all is well. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today while I got almost everything checked off of my to-do list. It was kind of a long video, but if you made it here to the end, then like I said, just thank you so much for watching. I hope you leave today feeling motivated and encouraged to tackle some projects in your own home. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, and I will see you next week in another video. Bye, guys. Do you always look this beautiful? Can I kiss you when the night is through? Because right now it's all I want to do. Wanna do lipstick?